Let me call another name. Real quick, please. All right. Come on, Dad. Uh, Garrett Lazarnsky. Yeah. Turn your Bibles to number 16, verse 26. Number 16, verse 26. You're there in number 16. Look at verse 24. Speak unto the congregation, saying, Get you up from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. And Moses rose up and went unto Dathan and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So the title of my sermon tonight is Consumed in All Their Sins. And I like to preach on staying away from bad influences or wicked people Amen. or ungodly yeah. friends, Amen. or whatever that case may be. So here in Numbers 16, we have the story of uh, Korah and all his followers who rise up against God and they rebel against Moses mm -hmm. and God says I'm going to destroy everybody but Moses and Aaron they plead for the people and they ask God not to and at this part of the chapter he's, he decides he's just going to destroy and punish Korah and all his followers and he's telling as we see in verse 26 he's telling Moses to tell the congregation the people who weren't part of them who weren't following Korah to get away from the tents of the wicked men to get away because they had nothing to do with them. So keep your place in number 16 because we're going to come back to it a few times. But turn to Proverbs 13, verse 20. So the first point I'd like to make tonight is the admonishing. The word admonish means to rebuke or to advise someone. So here we see in verse 26, Moses is revising, he's warning, he's admonishing the people to get away from the sons of Korah, to get away from the wicked men, from the bad influences. You're there in Proverbs 13, verse 20, and the Bible reads, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. That's right. You don't have to turn there, but 1 Thessalonians 5, 22 simply reads, Abstain from all appearance of evil. Mm -hmm. So here, like in Numbers 16, 26, and Proverbs 13, 20, there's an admonishing, a warning, and advising not to be the companion of fools. Amen. Well, to yeah. stay away from the Korahs, Dathans, and the Byrams out there. Whether they're saved or not. Now, we're supposed to love our brothers and sisters in Christ, but if someone's a bad influence or worldly or whatever the case, we're supposed, supposed to be kind to them and love them, but just don't be around that person. Don't yeah. be a partaker of their sins. Right. Don't be a companion of fools, as we see in Proverbs 13, 20. Yeah. That's right. So I say my first point was the admonishing. The second point I'd like to make is the acting. You kept your place in number 16 and look at verse 31. There in verse 31, the Bible reads, And it came to pass, as he had made an end of speaking all these words, that the ground clave asunder that was under them, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up, and their houses, and all the men that appertained unto Korah, and all their goods. They, and all that appertained to them, went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. Man. So here we see the aftermath of what happens to the wicked. Now you may say, well, how is this affecting me? You don't have to turn there, but Psalm 1-4 says, The ungodly are not so, but are as the wind which the, the chaff which the wind driveth away. So in these two verses, we see the aftermath of what will happen to you if you appertain to corn. If you're hanging around those bad influences, yep. who will you drag you down? Yep. When the godly are driven away by the chaff and the wind, you're going to go just with them. Yep. So yep. My first point was the admonishing. My second point is the aftermath. And my third point is the action. Turn to 2 Corinthians 6, verse 17. So, in my third point, my third and final point, I'd like to give you the action that you must take, that we must take. Now, if you're there in 2 Corinthians 6, the Bible reads, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. So here Paul, of course, under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, is warning us to come out from among the world, to be separate, 
just like Moses warned the congregation in number 16. Now, look down at number 1633. It's the last place I will take you to. Earlier we read this verse, but I'd like to point out something in the verses that follow it. There in number 16, starting in verse 33, the Bible reads, They and all that appertain to them went down alive into the pit, and the earth closed upon them, and they perished from among the congregation. And all Israel that were round about them fled at the cry of them, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. So we see the action that these people chose to took when God, uh, when God destroyed the followers of Korah. Now, it, this is, and yet in the same way, is not the action you should take. Now, they ran away and fled when God destroyed the wicked people. That's good. But they did it at the last minute. They yeah. didn't take Moses seriously. They weren't prepared. If they were prepared, they wouldn't have gone away yelling and screaming. Right. Moses told them to get away. Moses told them to be careful. Moses gave them a good admonishing. That's right. And don't let this happen to you. When the Bible tells you to get away from those friends, and your brothers and sisters in Christ tell you to be careful with the wicked people, and your pastor tells you, gives you good admonishing, be prepared, listen, and take him seriously. Amen. Amen. Now, the people that follow Korah and the Bible says appertain to him, they died with Korah. God mm -hmm. punished them. But if you appertain to the world and you go down with them, that you will you go down with them. But even if you were the people who were just hanging around their tents that Moses warned. You can get by for a while with just hanging around them and not really partaking in their sins, but you'll start out on the outside of their tents, and pretty soon you'll be in the middle right. of the camp. That's right. That's how works. So the point of this sermon is to get you to heed to the admonishing, so you can take the action the after, to to take the action to avoid the aftermath. Because if you don't choose the right action and you refuse to give up your ungodly friends, and you choose to stay with Korah and his followers and all those friends, you eventually will go down with them. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. That's, That's what right. the people most born did not see. And you will be consumed in all their sins. Let's pray. Amen. Dear Lord, I thank you for this opportunity to preach, Lord. I pray that people may be able to take this message, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen brother. Good preaching. Yeah. I noticed the alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, next time.